All right, so I'm outside over here, and I was walking down the road, and I saw some outdoor dining. Now, I've heard that if you dine outdoors, that there's a lower possibility of getting COVID than when you dine indoors. So this definitely makes sense as a quality way to ensure that less people are infected with COVID. Now, you may think that because this is a structure that has a door, a lock on the door, a window, a ceiling, a roof, and a floor, that this is not actually outdoors, that it's indoors, completely indoors, actually unventilated indoors, and likely not to code construction. But we are in New York City, where we value science. As a result, we have this type of dining structure that apparently is much less susceptible to people getting COVID. Just wanted to make sure that everybody who's been watching these, watching these videos understands how the science works. And uh, That's it for today. And as always, we hope you learned something. What do you think of these things, Erica? I guess, I guess they have a fan on the inside. So there's a fan that can blow around the stale, uncirculated, recirculated air inside of the structure. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Never mind. You got a panel gap in there the size, almost the size of a Tesla Model 3's. I could probably fit my finger through there. I guess that counts as outdoor. It's not like it's you know the same as let's say opening an actual window in a restaurant or keeping the door open. But what do I know? I'm a board repairman. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.